Today we'll be taking a first look at the high power AC mod, hi fi AM modulator, and station monitor standalone unit. And we'll test it alongside the Striker SR955. We'll begin by demonstrating the TX side of this AC mod high power, hi fi asymmetrical AM modulator and station monitor. Uh, with this uh, SR955. Uh, this high power unit is capable of driving the driver, final, and PA of the 955, capable of producing up to 300 watts of power. Okay, audio power that is. And um, right now we'll begin by showing a small demonstration. Uh, we'll start off with a standard low dead key of 2 watts. There you go. References have been set on the O-scopes and we'll begin by uh, activating the SIGGEN and Pro Tools here. Here now we have the signal there and now we're going to key up. We're going to key up using the mouse there and now we can see here we're running about 150 percent modulation okay now we're going to go ahead and erase up the asymmetry a little bit on here I'm going to take it up to about 250% modulation. There we are, 250%, 250% modulation. Okay, that puts us at about uh, 30 watts of PEP. Bring it back down a little bit to about 210 to 120% modulation. There. I put this on about 25 watts, give or take. Okay. Right now, we're going to start off with a 10 watt dead key. And still, we'll be able to produce over 250% modulation. That is a 10 watt dead key on a 50 watt slug. That is 10 watt dead key on a 250 watt slug. Now, this unit is capable of producing well over 300 watts of audio power to modulate our transceiver. In this case, we are modulating all three stages. We're modulating the driver, the finals, and the PA of this Striker SR955. So, we'll take a look. Start off with uh, our dead key 10 watts. We have that uh, referenced in the O-scopes. And uh, we'll go ahead and start the tone. There's our tone. Now we'll go ahead and, and transmit. Uh, as we can see, we have our 250% modulation there. And um, on the meter, we have 110 watts of PEP power. 110 watts PEP power, and uh, we have our 250% modulation just about. So there you have it. Uh, you're capable of producing well over 250% modulation and uh, uh, produce uh, over 100 watts with this striker SR955. Of course, it's not recommended. This radio is actually rated for about 60 watts. But uh, if you're careful on your peaks, uh, you might get away with it. We'll move on to show the functionalities of the record, receive, monitor, and mix uh, functions that uh, this unit offers uh, when used in combination with a recording software such as a Vegas. Um, Sony Vegas over here. Uh, you can instantly record and play back while monitoring yourself and monitoring 
the stations coming in through the same headphones or you can record that audio onto a PC using a recording software and play back as a Watergate. You have your headphone level control. You have your record mix control which allows you to mix the level of audio from the received signal and the transmitted signal. You can choose which transmitted signal you want to monitor. You can monitor your line level audio or you can monitor your demodulated audio. The demodulated audio is extracted from a AM detector that has been placed inside the transceiver. You can also play back the audio and there's an internal adjustments for uh, levels of the playback audio which can be set accordingly to your standard um, playback levels. Aside from that, it's got all the other functions that AC Mod normally has, your gain, modulation, carrier, and asymmetry controls. It's a self-powered unit with a 24 volt, 14 amp supply. It's fan cooled and it all interconnects with the transceiver Also, you could see when we switch modes, the indicators indicate the mode selected when on FM or sideband. The sideband peak indicator light comes on solid. When on AM, the AM indicator comes on solid. And the peak indicator is your peak indicator. As you can see here, I'm putting the tone on and off and you can see the peak come on and off. Also another feature this unit has is it has a built-in amp key relay. I don't know if you can hear that but you could key your big amps with no problem with this unit as well.